welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preseason 2014 NFL Draft prospect rankings video. We're taking a look at the receiver position. And now that includes wide receivers as well as tight ends. Some guys that you want to keep an eye on this upcoming college football season as possible NFL draft prospects. So we're going to break this video down into seniors, juniors, as well as draft eligible guys. So let's start this video off by taking a look at the top senior wide receiver prospects. Justin Jones out of East Carolina enters the 2013 season as my number one rated tight end. Very athletic guy. He's versatile, has great hands, and is an instant red zone threat. East Carolina doesn't have a tight end that they utilize in their offense, so they utilize Jones as a big wide receiver on the inside. Similar to Jimmy Graham and what you can do within your offense when you have a guy of that caliber, and that's what I think Jones can be if he improves again this season. I'm looking for him to put up huge numbers in that offense. This guy does a great job owning the hash, owning the middle of the field, and I think he's going to be one of the best players in the country come season's end. C.J. Fedorowicz is a guy that was a highly touted high school recruit coming into the program and is a good all-around tight end, good sound blocker, very good hands, just a solid guy all the way around. They utilize him more as a blocker in that offense, catching the check downs. You may see him on a flag route or two, but this guy does have good all-around game. He's not as explosive as you would like, but he'd be the type of guy that played 10 to 15 years in the National Football League because of his all-around skills, in particular, the blocking aspect. Arthur Lynch out of Georgia is a guy that's similar, in my opinion, to C.J. Fedorowicz and how they utilize him in that offense down in Georgia. They utilize him mostly as a blocker in the backfield as an H-back, but this guy can get open, does have soft hands. So overall, a fine tight end prospect, not as explosive, not the big play new age tight ends that you see coming from, let's say, a Justin Jones or Austin Safarian Jenkins, but Lynch is a solid guy in his own right and does have a spot at the next level. Jacob Peterson out of Wisconsin would be a guy that's in the same category athletically as a Chris Cooley that played for the Washington Redskins. You can move him around your offense in the H-back, a flex tight end, a guy that is a matchup problem for linebackers as well. So Peterson should have a fine senior campaign and definitely should be one of the top tight end prospects in the country. Now here are the guys rounding out my top 10 senior tight end prospects. Gabe Holmes out of Purdue is a guy that I'm expecting to have a huge season this year as they're moving to a new offense. A lot of potential right there. Crockett, Gilmore out of Colorado State. Better quarterback play, and he will put up huge numbers. Asa Watson out of North Carolina State, very athletic. Ted Bolzer out of Indiana, one of the more underrated tight ends. Does a great job in getting open. May not be as explosive, but definitely a very good player. Jordan Navarro out of Baylor, an instant matchup nightmare for any linebacker or safety trying to cover him. And Marcel Jensen is one of the best blocking tight ends in the country out of Fresno State. When you look for the definition of new age tight end in the dictionary, you're going to see a photo of Austin Safarian Jenkins, a guy that was a highly touted recruit and a very good player since stepping foot on campus. Very versatile. Athleticism is there. He has very good hands. One thing I want to see him improve on in 2013 is his blocking on the line of scrimmage. Again, they utilize him all across the formation, similar to how the Saints utilize Jimmy Graham. But I want to see him improve as a blocker, and that's just going to make him a more well-rounded tight end prospect. But as far as sheer playmaking ability is concerned, Austin Safarian Jenkins is one of the best in the country. I'm a big fan of Colt Lyerla out of Oregon. This is a guy, in my opinion, reminds me a lot of Heath Miller that plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. A guy that does a great job after the catch, soft hands, and you can run deeper routes with him, and he has the ability to get open. What I'm looking for in 2013 from Lyerla is continued growth in his route running. I want to see him be able to become a consistent threat down in and down out to where teams have to either double or do something specifically within their defense to take him away. Keep an eye on A.C. Leonard out of Tennessee State, the former Florida Gator transferred down to the Tigers and has been a productive player in that offense. Silky smooth athleticism, almost like a bigger wide receiver the way he plays. Very underrated blocker as well. One of the more well-rounded prospects we've seen in the FCS. Now, here are some of the other top junior prospects that I want you to keep an eye on this season. Xavier Grimble out of USC is a guy that I feel as though should be utilized more in that offense. He's an outstanding prospect. Eric Ebron out of North Carolina, another one of these big play tight ends coming out of that program. Nick O'Leary, throwback type of guy out of Florida State. And Nick Selfo out of Nickel State, small school prospect, but definitely one of the sleepers that you want to look out for this year.
Joe Don Duncan out of Dixie State will return from injury this year. He redshirted all of last year and prior to that was one of the best players in the country at that position. So he should put up huge numbers again this season. Another solid all-around prospect is Matt Lingo out of Eastern Kentucky. He does a great job blocking, so right away you love that about his game, but also is a very underrated receiver who's looking to expand his game within that Colonel's offense. Also keep a watchful eye on Brandon Hall out of Lafayette. He does a great job for the Leopards offense, 6'7", 255. Again, one of these flex tight ends that they utilize all around the formation, providing matchup problems. And I think his senior campaign will be his best statistically in the Patriot League. Now, here's my overall top 10 rankings for the tight end position heading into the 2013 season. And, you know, we're going to do this after the season once we know who declares. So that way we can decide who's going to move up and down the board. But when you look at the list, you see a well-rounded group of tight ends, guys that are matchup nightmares in Austin Safarian Jenkins. Justin Jones, even A.C. Leonard is a very good receiver out of the backfield. You see guys that are great blockers in C.J. Podorowicz, Arthur Lynch, and guys that are just versatile in Jacob Peterson out of Wisconsin, as well as Asa Watson out of North Carolina. So keep an eye on Crockett Gilmore, like I mentioned before, a guy that could fly up the draft boards if improved play at the quarterback position. I love what he brings to the table, as well as Gabe Holmes. Moving to a new offense, Purdue should put up some big numbers this season.